The Bible offers plenty of wisdom about words. For starters, Jesus affirmed, it's not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth. Paul instructed to let no corrupting talk come out of our mouths, but only what is good for building up. In Proverbs, it didn't mince words. It revealed death and life are in the power of the tongue. You likely know the power of your words to build up or tear down other people. And you've undoubtedly experienced the power of someone else's words do the same to you. But have you ever considered the impact of your own words on your own life? You see, the words you speak about yourself often trickle down to either bring death or life to your destiny. Consider this popular quote, what's your thoughts, they become words. What's your words, they become actions. What's your actions, they become habits. What's your habits, they become character. What's your character, because it becomes your destiny. Now, to fully see the power of this, here's an example of the negative effect of your negative words. If you entertain a thought like, you failed at that endeavor, you'll never succeed at anything, before long, you start to speak accordingly, and you'll start to say about yourself, I am a failure. And when you speak like this, you take on this identity, which results in walking with your head held low or isolating yourself from other people. This then becomes a habit of being afraid of ever taking a risk again or staying within a comfort zone. Over time, this changes your character into someone who is known as mediocre. And finally, like Jesus warned, you live defeated and defiled all because of what came out of your mouth. But even if you relate to that cycle, you can change course by running God's word through your mouth and letting its power work through your life. Consider the difference. Cast down a defeated thought with a word of victory. For example, if you identify with Ephesians 10 and declare, I am God's masterpiece, soon after, you'll begin to walk with joy and you'll make bold moves. This will then become a habit. You'll stand back up even if you fall. Then you'll be known as someone who doesn't give up. And the result, you'll live a life victorious that's not swayed by circumstances or other opinions. So watch what you say about yourself. Don't let your own mouth defile your own life, but use your words to identify with your identity in Christ. And eventually you'll find that you are what you speak.